We're taking Amanda from Castle Rock up to the Highlands to find out what's so great about this up and coming historical neighbourhood. Hood vs. Hood, presented by Colorado Realty Source, takes you into some of Denver's best neighborhoods and gives you a local's perspective, like where to eat, where to shop, and why they love to live there. Are you ready, Amanda? I'm ready, let's go. Here we are at the Perfect Petal, a beautiful little boutique here in the Highlands. Yes. Should we go in and take a little peek? Yeah, definitely, I'm excited. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome. Oh yay! How are you? How are you? I am. Yes, what is yes. the Perfect Petal? This store is full service floral, so we do lots of weddings, we do lots of daily deliveries and birthdays and anniversaries. Lots of jewelry, lots of wonderful independent jewelry lines and cards and a little bit of, of everything. It's definitely lifestyle, but um, with a botanical in influence. One of the coolest things about Highlands is that um, everybody walks everywhere. So you get to know your neighbors really quickly and you know all the shopkeepers and business owners and you can get, you know, cheeses at the little cheese store and your fish from the fish market and Mondovino wines and it's, it's really cool. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, it's like a little village but you're right there in the city. So Cindy, there's so many great boutiques and restaurants in yeah. the Highlands. And um, I'm thinking it's kind of lunchtime. I'm yeah. hungry. Yeah. Are you? I know. So where should we eat? I know just the place. Um, how about Bang? It's they're great friends of ours, and they're kind of like one of the anchors of the Highlands. So a delicious, delicious food. And so you guys, here we are at Bang. It's one of awesome. my favorite, favorite places. Awesome, awesome comfort food. One of the coolest things about it um, is the street view. You can see all the chefs cooking in the front. Oh, that's so nice. But the cool thing is that you enter through this sort of secret passage right this way. Cool. Yay! <laughs> Let's go. That's nice. We're here with Tim Mackey at his gorgeous, beautiful home in the Highlands. Tim, would you take us on a tour? Sure, come on in. This is our parlor. Um, dog bed, my wife's sewing kit. I'm pretty happy with this place. We've got still the original stained glass up there and the original mantle. I like it a lot. And uh, generally we have a train set up up here for our boy, for our three year old. What about the history of this home? Well, it's an 1895 Victorian. We've been here about a year and a half. And the previous owners did a whole bunch of renovations to it. New walls, new lights, new electrical. This is the, the dining room. We have this nice window that I really like. Um, nice view of the apple tree. Nice place to sit. More of my wife's quilting. Do you guys have dinner here every every evening? Pretty much, yeah. We both work full time, so it's four times a week probably we get to have dinner together, yeah. This kitchen was a real big selling point for my wife. Definitely the nicest kitchen we've ever had. Uh, they redid it maybe six, six seven years ago. Fantastic. That's what I really like about this area because I'm coming from Castle Rock. Everything's so new. Mm -hmm. These houses have so much character. Yeah. So does yeah. that play a big part That's in life? That's a huge part of it. Yeah. We didn't want to. We didn't want to have a house that looks just like our neighbor's house and their neighbor's house and their neighbor's house. How would you say that the the area has changed and developed since you moved here? I think it's a lot safer than it used to be. When we first moved in, there was definitely some some concerns for security, and we don't have that at all anymore. But. Um, it's still not a not a gentrified 
neighborhood, so much like Washington Park. Mm -hmm. Our neighbors are 90-year-old Castellanos from San Luis, and yeah, it's, it's a diverse neighborhood for sure. So here we are at Tim's favorite park here in the Highlands. Tim, tell us what you love so much about this beautiful park. So this is Highlands Park. They just redid it. Um, you can hear the construction background. They're actually making a, I think they're called spray grounds. So in the summertime, they kids run around and they squirt water all over you. Oh, fun. So they're doing that. They've just redone that. The, uh, the library is called the Woodward Library. They just totally redone that. And that's a beautiful piece of architecture. Great places to uh, play with the kids and um, three minute bike ride from home. So nice. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. You definitely don't get this in Castle Rock, a beautiful park right in the city. Do you guys take your dogs out here? I, I yeah. have a dog mm -hmm. and I yep. definitely love to take her on walks and just right. like something close to home. Yeah. So, and nice to have picnics and stuff here during the weekend. Oh, sure. For sure. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Nice. In every episode of Hood vs. Hood, we take a minute to get some real estate facts from our real estate experts at Colorado Realty Source. Hi, my name is Darren Fogel with Colorado Realty Source, the Powers Team, located in the heart of downtown Denver. There are several reasons why most people like to look in the Highlands on their, on their home search. Obviously, you have the Tennyson Street shops, the 32nd Avenue shops, which offer mom and pop fields, close community, and the, and the vicinity close to downtown. Outside of that, you're close to the three major arteries for highways, close to I-25, close to 6th Avenue, and I-70 if you want to get up to the mountains. You're a five to 10 minute walk across the pedestrian bridge located in the low high area to go to the downtown metro area as well. The community is vibrant. There's a lot of activities going on on a daily basis, a lot of community things going on from the beer fest all the way up to the dog parks that they offer. While we've covered a lot of ground today, there's definitely so much more that the Highlands has to offer, from bakeries to boutiques and fine dining. And outdoor events, the Highlands is an eclectic neighbourhood with plenty to do, many housing options, and both some of the best views of downtown Denver. Thanks for joining us, Amanda. What did you think? I had a great time. Thanks for showing me around. I'm really looking forward to, you know, starting my search for a house. Join us next time as we explore another Denver hood. I'm Emma for Vista TV, and we'll see you next time on Hood vs Hood. Cheers. <laughs>